Journey into the Doll Land Chapter 1 The Enchanted Gateway One afternoon, Sophie's room basked in the gentle glow of sunlight, casting a warm embrace on her collection of toys. As Sophie playfully arranged her dolls and teddy bears, her eyes caught a glimmer from an unexplored corner. Drawn by the curious sparkle, she discovered a tiny, ornate door nestled between her shelves. The door, seemingly inconspicuous yet beguiling, beckoned Sophie with an unspoken invitation. Intrigued by the mystery it held, Sophie approached. To her delight, the door swung open with a soft creak, revealing a whimsical pathway beyond. Sophie's room transformed into a gateway to an extraordinary world, the enchanting realm of dolls. With wide-eyed wonder, Sophie took a step through the magical doorway, and the room around her morphed into a vibrant land of lively toys. Dolls donned in splendid costumes animatedly went about their activities, and a symphony of joyous laughter filled the air. Sophie's ordinary room had seamlessly transitioned into the enchanting landscape of Doll Land. In the midst of this newfound wonder, Sophie's eyes met Rosie, her cherished doll, who had seemingly come to life. Rosie's eyes twinkled with a magical glow, and a mischievous smile hinted at the adventures awaiting them. The bond between Sophie and Rosie, already special, took on a new dimension as they embarked on an unexpected journey through the secret door, leaving behind the mundane and venturing into the extraordinary. The enchanted gateway stood ajar, offering an invitation to a realm where the ordinary transcended into the fantastical, a land of animated dolls and magical tales waiting to unfold. Chapter 2 Princess Dresses and Puppet Shows In Doll Land, Sophie and Rosie found themselves surrounded by a kaleidoscope of vibrant colors. The air was infused with an enchanting melody, and dolls adorned in regal attire bustled about in animated conversations. Inspired by the royal atmosphere, Sophie and Rosie decided to fully immerse themselves in the magical realm. Sophie discovered a wardrobe filled with sparkling princess dresses in a spectrum of colors. Excitement bubbled within her as she and Rosie selected the finest gowns, transforming into princesses ready for royal adventures. The dresses, adorned with intricate details and shimmering fabrics, seemed to carry whispers of the magical tales woven into the fabric of Doll Land. As they paraded through the lively streets of the doll-sized village, Sophie and Rosie were greeted with admiration and applause. Animated dolls curtsied and bowed, acknowledging the presence of the newly crowned princesses. The duo felt like royalty, with each step accompanied by the tinkling of regal accessories and the rustle of delicate fabrics. Following the melodious sounds, Sophie and Rosie stumbled upon a puppet theater adorned with velvet curtains and golden tassels. Tickets magically appeared in their hands, granting them access to an enchanting puppet show. The stage came to life as puppets with animated strings danced and performed whimsical tales. Sophie and Rosie, captivated by the intricate movements and lively storytelling, were transported into a world where imagination knew no bounds. The puppet show became a mesmerizing spectacle, and the duo found themselves immersed in tales of bravery, friendship, and magic. The animated dolls, now transformed into puppet actors, 
wove enchanting narratives that captivated the audience. Sophie and Rosie, their eyes filled with wonder, applauded alongside the animated dolls, grateful for the magical experience unfolding in Doll Land. As the puppet show reached its grand finale, Sophie and Rosie exited the theater with hearts brimming with joy. The princess dresses shimmered under the radiant lights, and the animated dolls bid them farewell with smiles that echoed the magic of the performance. The duo, still in their regal attire, continued their exploration of doll land, eager for the next chapter in their extraordinary adventure. Chapter 3 Animated Playgrounds and Joyful Laughter As Sophie and Rosie delved deeper into doll land, the vibrant colors of the miniature village unfolded before them like a living canvas. Animated playgrounds dotted the landscape, beckoning the duo with promises of whimsical adventures. The air resonated with the melodies of joyful laughter, and the lively atmosphere embraced them in a carefree dance of merriment. Sophie and Rosie discovered playgrounds where dolls swung from magical swings, their laughter harmonizing with the tinkling chimes of the animated apparatus. Teeter-totters brought forth peals of gleeful laughter as dolls bounced up and down, their movements synchronized with an invisible rhythm that echoed the joyous spirit of doll land. The landscape was dotted with toy houses, each a vibrant hub of animated activity. Dolls engaged in playful games, from animated hide-and-seek behind miniature fences to lively games of tag in flower-filled meadows. Sophie and Rosie, caught in the infectious energy of the animated playgrounds, joined the dolls in their spirited games their laughter blending seamlessly with the joy that enveloped Doll Land. As they explored, the duo encountered animated fountains that sprayed sparkling droplets into the air, creating a dazzling spectacle. The water danced to an invisible melody, and dolls twirled beneath the shimmering spray, their laughter echoing through the enchanted village. Sophie and Rosie, captivated by the animated displays of joy, reveled in the magic that permeated every corner of Doll Land. The animated playgrounds became a hub of shared happiness, where the ordinary transformed into extraordinary moments of delight. Sophie and Rosie, surrounded by the animated dolls, felt a sense of unity and camaraderie, as if they had become integral parts of the lively tapestry that adorned Doll Land. The carefree laughter, animated movements, and magical ambience left an indelible imprint on the duo's hearts as they continued their enchanting journey through the vibrant landscapes of animated joy. Chapter 4 The Grand Doll Ball the pinnacle of Sophie and Rosie's adventure in Doll Land was the Grand Doll Ball, an event that promised to be a dazzling spectacle of magic and elegance. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the miniature village, Sophie and Rosie received invitations adorned with delicate scrolls and intricate calligraphy. The anticipation of the grand celebration heightened their excitement. The ballroom, set within a majestic dollhouse, welcomed Sophie and Rosie with an enchanting ambience. Golden chandeliers twinkled overhead, casting a soft radiance that danced across the sparkling gowns of the animated dolls. The air was filled with the sweet notes of a magical melody beckoning everyone to the dance floor. Sophie and Rosie, dressed in their finest attire, 
entered the ballroom, their regal gowns trailing behind them. Animated dolls adorned in dapper suits and elegant dresses twirled and swayed in a mesmerizing waltz. The enchanting rhythm invited Sophie and Rosie to join the graceful dance, and they seamlessly became part of the swirling elegance. As the music reached its crescendo, the dolls in the ballroom formed a circle, inviting Sophie and Rosie to stand at the center. The animated dolls applauded, recognizing the duo's presence as a testament to the extraordinary journey they had undertaken. In a burst of magical energy, the dolls created a sparkling canopy above Sophie and Rosie, showering them with confetti that glimmered like stardust. The Grand Doll Ball continued with animated performances that showcased the unique talents of Doll Lens residents. Dolls jiggled miniature props, performed acrobatic feats, and executed breathtaking dance routines. Sophie and Rosie, mesmerized by the dazzling displays, applauded alongside the animated dolls, becoming part of the jubilant audience. As the ball neared its conclusion, Sophie and Rosie shared a final dance beneath the golden chandeliers. The magical atmosphere enveloped them, creating a timeless moment that transcended the boundaries of reality and fantasy. The dolls, with heartfelt smiles, formed an archway, bidding Sophie and Rosie farewell as they exited the ballroom. With the closing strains of the magical melody, Sophie and Rosie stepped out of the dollhouse, their hearts filled with the enchantment of the grand doll ball. The animated dolls waved goodbye, their joyous spirits lingering in the air. Sophie and Rosie, still adorned in their regal attire, strolled through the illuminated streets of doll land cherishing the memories of an extraordinary night that marked the culmination of their whimsical adventure. The miniature door, now back in Sophie's room, stood as a portal to a realm where toys became companions and playtime transformed into a spectacular journey. As Sophie and Rosie closed the enchanted gateway behind them, the echoes of the Grand Doll Ball remained etched in their hearts, a timeless reminder of the magical discovery that awaited those willing to explore the secret wonders hidden within the ordinary. Let your dreams be touched by the Chronicles of Enchantment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.